Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back for the first show of the week. We've been out for a while, but we are back. It is good to be back. We got some good news going on. Uh, we got a Pro Box series tomorrow. We're going to get into the main event. Brandon Glanton calls from Menta. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie. Uh, follow 3D Boxing Blogger, all from social media. Show you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money on betting professional boxing. Again, we don't gamble. I use DraftKings, which I will show you in just a minute. <clears throat> um, and on DraftKings, they don't even allow – if you're in Texas, you can't use DraftKings. So I don't bet, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and consistently uh, make money on professional boxing. Bookies don't know how to handicap the sport. Uh, the, book, the bookmakers are, are all types of lost. I know how to do it. I've done it in the past when I was a gambler. I will show you how to do it. Uh, if you follow me, you will consistently make money. All right. Also, subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, guys. Let's bring down the house. Uh, Pro Box is back. You guys know that I love Pro Box. Um, if you've been following this channel, you know that I love uh, the Pro Box series. Great fights. Um, good fighters. Good prospects. We got Brandon Glanton, um, who I think – is is, is is a tough luck fighter. I think he's lost two fights that he's won both and won both clearly. Uh, won more than, no, no, I think he's won both clearly. Um, and he's fighting a guy named Carlos Fomente. If you don't know much about him, don't beat yourself up. Um, he's never really fought a big time fight or on a big network or, or streaming or anything like that. I was able to go to YouTube, find some, um, find some information on him. Uh, I'll get into him first. Um, He's a big dude. He's a big cruiser. He's a big cruiserweight. He's a, a Cuban who, who lives and trains in Florida. Offensively, he's pretty fundamentally sound. Uh, he doesn't throw a lot. He comes forward. He's heavy off the front foot. He, he jabs. He hooks off the jab. He goes to the body well. He seems to have some power. He's not fought anyone at all. He's not fought anyone of note. Um, you know, I, 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 I checked out two of his fights. Uh, he fought one guy. Uh, his last two fights, I was actually no two. Uh, yes, was his last? No, it wasn't. It was uh, two of his last three fights. Um, one was against Lamont Capers. Uh, if you don't know who that is, he's 11, 18, and five. And the other was against a guy named Armando Reeves, uh, who's three, ten, and two. This is the level of competition he's been in with. Brandon Clanton, Glanton is a world class guy. He's got a win over FA Apache. Uh, Brandon Glenn, I think, um, has wins. He's got a little over Deshaun Webster, too. Deshaun Webster, I, not spectacular. Deshaun Webster is better than anything Formentis ever fought. Uh, he's got a win. I think he's got wins over Asabrov and David Light. Uh, he, he lost close decisions in both of them. The scoring in the Asabrov fight was egregious, 98-92 and 97-93. Uh, I, I thought David Light, he beat two. Um, the, the, those two of the judges had 95, 94, and then the third judge uh, handed in an egregious 97, 92 in front of light. So uh, he's a tough, he's a tough luck guy. He doesn't get decisions to go his way for whatever reason. Uh, but Glenton, um, you know, like I said, Fermenta, we'll get back to him real quick. He's flat footed. He's slow. Um, his feet are slow. His hands don't seem particularly quick. Uh, like I said, his punches are clean. He throws good combinations. Uh, he doesn't throw much, though. So he'll jib off the hook. Um, he'll throw a right hand behind it. He is conventional. Um, there's just not much on him. He's never for anyone. No, we, really, he doesn't move his head at all. He's a sitting target. He's flat, but I think he's going to be easy to hit. But we haven't seen him fight anything even remotely decent um, to see how he's going to do with a world-class guy like Glenn. Now, Glenn, on the other hand, again, I'm not saying Glenn is for Tom Whitaker. He does move his head. He makes you miss. Uh, he also heavy up the front foot, so I see this being a fun fight, an intriguing fight, uh, because it's gonna be all it's gonna be all offense. Um, look, if Glanton stands on his feet, and it does seem like Fermenta can punch, if Glanton makes it through the fight on his feet, he wins. I also think he's gonna have a better chance of knocking him out. So Glanton can hit too. Glanton can crack, and Glanton throws more. His footwork is better. You know, uh, Fermenta's footwork is not good. Um, he crosses his feet. He does amateurish things. His feet are too close together at times. Um, Glanton has good footwork. He's a better athlete. He's quicker. 
Um, he, he cuts off the ring well. Um, he's going to pressure him. He's going to force the fight inside. Um, he's got good uppercuts on the inside. Uh, and so does Fermenta. Uh, but, we, again, Fermenta is slow. Like, um, I, I think Glenn now works him. And he and he throws first and lands first, right? He's quicker. He's he's just he's a much more complete fighter offensively and defensively. Um, I wish we had more to gauge this on uh, with Fermenter, uh, uh, but we don't, right? Unfortunately, uh, Glenn, we've seen him with good fighters. We've seen Glenn in with, with 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 you know big name fighters, and and he's done well. You know, I, I think he's fought three big name fighters and a fourth decent fighter in the show Webster. I think he's beaten all of them. Um, so, I, again, I was able to pull up odds on his fight. Shout out to DraftKings, uh, which is which is awesome. Uh, I didn't know if we'd be able to have odds. And I, and I, I like, um, you know, if, if they would make this fight, if they would make a book for this fight. But they did. They also did the undercard, too. But I don't really see anything really worth betting on um, in that. So I'm going to, without further ado, uh, let's share the screen. Let's pull up the odds. And let's show y'all what I'm looking at here. Uh, here it is. Again, we use DraftKings. Um, just like DraftKings. Um, I think the user fa- the user face the interface is is, is friendly. Um, it's easy to use, and I think it gives you a decent book. All right, we're not betting on that one today. Um, no, we are not betting on calls from Menta. What is it? What's going on here? I hit the wrong thing. Where where is it? Sorry, y'all. I messed this up. There it is. We are not betting on him. Um, I, I think the odds are not terrible. I think this is a good two times bet, so I, I would double your bet, honestly. It's minus 330, which, again, you're not going to get rich off of this, but he's going to win the fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's going to win this fight. So I, I don't think this is a, a, a terrible bet to bet two times on. Um, a two times bet, $200 bet makes you 60 bucks. Okay, again, we're not getting rich on this fight. I know this is not what you want to see, but this right here can make you money, but it's terrible. He's not going to win. I can't see it. I, I don't see anything good about it other than maybe he has some pop. Um, so I'm going to say Glanton, a two times bet. I think this is a safe bet. I think it makes you 60 bucks, 60 cents on a $200 bet, and uh, we, we, we roll that over into what we got for the rest of the week. But um, – you know, this is what we got. Let me know what y'all think. I, I may do this Flaz versus Bellotti fight. That seems interesting. I'm going to go watch um, some, some tape on them. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. But we got a bunch of fights this week. Uh, we will be back later in the – we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to do three or four fights this week, break them down for you. Uh, but you got to follow – you got to follow um, the box of book. You got to take all the advice. We will consistently make you money. Get in on Glanton. He's going to win the fight. You know, look, the odds aren't great, not paying a ton, but it's not terrible either. Like, he should really be like a plus 700, plus 800 favorite. You know, like at 330, it's worth it. I mean, it's it's worth it. It's not horrible. You're making some money, right? Honestly, it's, it's he's not nearly high enough. Uh, if you watch for Benton, there's nothing about him. And um, Glenn's done it at a world-class level. He's got robbed twice, um, which I think is why it's not seven or 800, but – it is what it is. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, follow the Boxing Bucky at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also follow our channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is October 17th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.